everyone, Miss Carrie here from Miss Carrie's Creations. In today's five minute Cricut class, I'm going to show you two ways that you can resize an SVG image in Cricut Design Space. When you upload an SVG, it's often sized by the designer to fit the screen, but there are times when it's too large or too small for the project that you're creating. Today, I'm going to show you how to resize those SVG images using the sizing tool in the bounding box and the sizing tool in the edit bar. I have already uploaded an SVG onto my canvas. This is a multi-layer image from Paige Evans. And as you can see, all the pieces to this design are grouped together over there in the layers panel. For now, I'm going to keep this grouped together so that you can understand how grouped images are resized for a project. I'm using the desktop version of Design Space. If you're using the mobile app, your screen will look a little different than mine, but the techniques are similar. When you click on a grouped image, a bounding box appears. You can click on any of the corners and drag the image to the size you need. You will see the finished measurements of the design here near the image. Both the images in this group are sizing proportionately to each other because they are grouped. If you wish to manipulate this a bit and lengthen it or widen it, you can use the side sizing arrows. The images are still sizing proportionately to each other because they are still grouped. Cricut does have a one-click method that will allow you to resize the individual images without ungrouping. If you double-click on one of those images in the design while they're grouped, you can resize one of the images and move it to a new place. You can also click on those side arrows and stretch each one of the individual images. When you click outside of the bounding box, the images regroup. This method allows you to customize each piece of a grouped design, then resize the two images together proportionately. It's a great way to make a design unique to your project. Using that bounding box is one of the easier ways to resize a group design. Another way to resize an image is through the edit bar at the top. On the mobile app, this is located in the edit tab. This box allows you to input the exact measurements you need. While that little padlock icon is locked, the images size proportionate to each other. If you type a number in the width and press the enter or return key, the height is going to automatically change so that all the pieces of the design resize together. If you want to make this a specific height and width, you'll need to click on that little padlock image to unlock it. This allows you to type both a width and a height separately. You will need to press the enter or return key each time you input one of those new measurements. Again, this is a grouped set of images, so everything in the design is going to change to that new size. If you want to work with each of those images individually, you can ungroup the design. You can do that by clicking on ungroup over here above the layers. Once these are ungrouped, you can resize each image individually using the sizing handles or by inputting the measurements in that edit bar sizing box. To regroup the design, just click and drag over both images, then click on regroup at the top of the layers. All right, there is your five minute Cricut class showing you how to resize SVG designs. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel, or let me know in the comments if you wish to see more of these types of videos. If you would like to see more of my five minute Cricut classes, go ahead and click on that playlist in the description below and learn more ways to use your Cricut machine. I hope that you have a wonderful week and I can't wait to see what you create.